lamang ito ay rated SPG. Striktong patnubay at gabay ng magulang ang kailangan. Maaaring may masiselang tema, lengguahe, karahasan, sexual, horror o droga na hindi angkop sa mga bata. Alright, so hello dears! Ayan, so um, yeah, so wait lang. I feel so emotional, Char, because again, Uh, this is now our last pre-recorded lecture in your analysis of urine and body fluids na class in the laboratory. And this is your most awaited topic, the most controversial, the most precious, the most awaited um, topic, and your most favorite. And uh, this is now, again, your semen analysis uh, or seminalysis, seminal fluid analysis. Now, um, again, I'll try my best. Uh, ano lang, warning lang, medyo SPG siguro siya, no? So, uh, <laughs> I'll do my best na dili kayo pa SPG, pero na-adjudicate ko yung ma-butt in ng mga ginagmay ng mga green jokes, okay? So, um, just take it with an open mind, alright? And, um, yeah, just look into it as if uh, this is part, this is like, you know, for knowledge and uh, open mind lang yun, okay? Alright, so natay disclaimer sa start, di ba? SPG, okay? Alright, but again... This is all for testing. We're all adults here. Wala namang mga bata dito, no? So, pwede tayo magkalat. Joke lang, okay? <laughs> all right. So, again, this is semen analysis or uh, seminal fluid analysis. Uh, this PowerPoint is created by um, Ma'am Farida. Uh, your Ma'am Farida because, you know, dili ko maayong mga PowerPoints. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this is uh, according to Ma'am Farida. And then, uh, most of the topics here or most of the, you know, uh, information came from Strasinger, Gidgapun. All right, so again, this is semen analysis. Actually, you know, dili kay ko ganahan na i-talk about ang semen in terms of testing. Kay daghan kayong i-remember, daghan kayong calculations, and I don't like it. Pero some other stuff, gran ako. Charat lang. <laughs> okay, o, di ba? Na ako yung first hear it, na ako yung first kalat. But anyway, again, this is semen analysis. Um, again, this is our last pre-recorded lecture. Um, medyo na senti ko light, pero sige lang. We'll try our best, uh, I'll, try our, I'll try my best to make this memorable pa rin. And, para bongga atong last pre-recorded lecture. Okay? All right. So, we'll start first um um na pa char gid farida. Yes, welcome to today's class tour. Okay, and today's agenda what are we going to talk about in terms of about semen? Um is of course um we'll start first with its clinical applications. First is physiology, like how is it formed? Yes, as a gikan, of course naman. Next, specimen collection and handling, how do we collect specimen and how do we handle Um, semen, all right. <laughs> Do we? Ayon na, basta sa oy, oh my gosh, Mark. Okay, all right. Next, appearance, liquefaction, volume, viscosity, pH, and spec graph. Uh, and then five and six, usually these, these are the tests proper na good for semen um, analysis. Okay, all right. Ayan. So again, this is our topics. I'm sorry, guys. Filaw medyo gamay uh, siya, pero medyo juts charot. Pero please, please, uh, just uh, reference lang sa yung handout ha. So, while mamina mo ani or maglanta mo sa pre-recorded lecture, i-side by side lang with a printed copy of your handout. Okay? Para diretso lang sa mga notes. Okay. Alright. Ayan. So, we'll start first with clinical applications. Now, why do we test semen? Wala na, sir. Ganahan me. Ganahan me. Because we like semen. So, yes, na na siya importance, guys. Ganoon na mag-test yung semen. Ano siya yung applications? Okay? First is, of course, uh, the primary importance yun niya is we want to detect infertility. Okay? So, it's important because, you know, mga in the future dyan, mga gusto mag-asawa, mga heterosexual couples, and all that. Um, wala ko plan. Char lang. <laughs> um, yeah, if you have problems in conceiving a child, then it's important that uh, you have your uh, semen tested for the males, of course. And for the females, they have their also other uh, tests to detect uh, infertility. But for males, we test the semen, again, for infertility testing, for uh, uh, a sign of reproductive dysfunction. Again, this is the main importance or the main significance as to why we are performing semen analysis. It's usually used due to detect infertility testing. Okay, another one is, of course, um, we detect post-surgical evaluation, vasectomy. So when you say vasectomy, uh, the vast difference of the males, right? Mga, mga males dyan, alam nyo na. Uh, ikat ang vast difference. Why? This is for purposes of contraception or contraceptives. So, para if a males or a couple nag-decide na na they don't want to have a child, pero magpadayo na siya po ng kalami sa ilang relationship. <laughs> or like, magpadayo na siya po sila gloving-loving, uh, bahalag saging rang na. <laughs> uh, pero wala, dilira sila kakonsibong child, then vasectomy is one of the uh, methods of contraception, okay? Or of, you know, preventing of 
having more children. Pero magpadayon ng gapon sila og, you know, when the weather is cold and all that. So, uh, vasectomy, yes. So, we also want to evaluate if the vasectomy is successful by testing its semen. If na pabay sperm na na produce or wala na. Okay? Alright. So, if uh, that's for vasectomy. Okay, and last um, is for forensic analysis. Usually, um, in cases of uh, trigger warning, mga rape, okay, or mga uh, mga yun ana, okay, na na ay mga forceful na crime na nahitabo uh, sexually, okay. So yeah, usually for rape. So forensic analysis, okay. So these are the three major applications for um, uh, for semen analysis, okay. Usually, first one is infertility, okay. So if you want to test if baog ba ka or you potent. Pwede ba kamo gamag mga junior, okay? Or not? All right. Ayan. Next is for vasectomy. Sige, nakagama na ka junior, pero nakadecide ka na daghan na kaayo. I don't want any more kids, pero I still want that um, pleasure, <laughs> that um, amorous feeling, no, of making a child. Pero dapat wala outcome na child. So let's go to vasectomy. So yes, we want to evaluate if the vasectomy is successful so we perform semen analysis and lastly is of course for forensic analysis in cases of uh, again rape uh, trigger warning huh? uh, very sensitive rape and other uh, forceful sexual crimes okay all right so forensic analysis okay next we now go to um, physiology okay so how how is semen created <laughs> Okay, ayan. So, first is, this is, of course, the anatomy of the male reproductive system. So, of course, naman, male reproductive system, na asa madagikan ang semen, di ba? So, sa male reproductive system, I, I know you're all familiar, mga boys dyan, or mga girls din, I know you're all familiar with the anatomy of the male reproductive system. Na nasin yung human anatomy, magod na subject, kamujod, or some other um, activities, kung asa ninyo gi-examine ang anatomy sa male reproductive system baka practicals niyo okay all right so most important important lang yun is of course you have the penis all right you have um, you know yeah the penis you have um, or the phallus phallus diba phallus ayan phallus okay all right so penis and then of course you have the two testes you have the epididymis taas sa testes the vas deferens ejaculatory ducts you have the urethra Prostate gland, the bulbo urethra gland, seminal vesicles, etc., etc. So again, these have been well emphasized and discussed in your first year and some other activities that you may have immersed yourself in in the future, in the past, in the future. Okay, so again, in a nutshell, mo niya ang imuhang uh, reproductive system sa males. Okay, now. What is the composition of your semen? Of course, first, spermatozoa is only 5%. So as you can see, medyo gamay rin ang percentage of sperm na added to. Okay, alright. But a major composition yun niya is the seminal fluid, which is about 60 to 70%. Because this is the fluid where the sperm uh, are, or the, the spermatozoa are immersed in or are suspended so that uh, maka-propel sila. Okay, so maka-live sila. Alright, okay. Next, you have also your prostate fluid, which also in contributes to the enzymes needed for liquefaction and coagulation and some other nutrients na kailangan pa sa imuhang sperm. And lastly is the bulbo urethral fluid, which is another 5%. Again, um, yeah, for additional fluid pa rin para ma-neutralize ang imuhang pH. Okay, we'll go individually sa different uh, components of your semen. Okay, of course. So we'll start first, of course, with the spermatozoa. Of course, your babies, mga boys dyan, yung mga babies, mga junior, yes. We've all been, uh, this is our start. <laughs> we have all been a spermatozoon before. <laughs> we have all been a sperm cell before. Okay, all right. So, um, the sperm cells, again, are contributed by the testes and the epididymis. Now, recall in your anatomy, in your testes, diba, you have their uh, Sertoli cells, diba? Uh, and the Sertoli cells are the one that, you know, give nutrients a developing pa na, uh, sperm. Now, once the sperm sperm cells are ready to mature, they now go to the epidid epididymis. Basta ganyan, ang, pro, ang function of this epididymis is it um, allows for the maturation of your sperm cells. Okay, alright. Ayan, so this is a sperm cell. Again, testes containing the seminiferous tubules, the eye, which contains the Sertoli cells. And then epididymis, again, important, asa siya mo mature, asa siya mo develop flagella, and remains stored until kailangan siya ejaculate. Okay? And matur maturation process takes roughly 90 days. Okay, so 90 days, guys. So, mga boys dyan, no, careful po. Ayaw po kayo i-abuso in yung organ, ha? Alright, alam nyo na yung ang gusto kong sabihin. Basta, don't abuse. Mga, 
once a week. Chara. <laughs> Joke. Na. Okay, I know din yung kaya, pero... Anyway, alright. And seminiferous tubules, again, the germ cells. Kung asa mo undergo, ay uh, muhang uh, sperm cells o meiosis. Alright, spermatogenesis to produce sperm cells. And again, these seminiferous tubules are supported by your Sertoli cells, again, which give nutrients. And um, of course, your immature sperm pa again are immotile, or di pa sila mumuliho. Sa epididymis na sila, di ba, magka magkaroon ng flagella. Okay, alright. Ayan. And spermatogenesis, guys, is the term for the process of, you know, sperm, pag creates a sperm. Spermatogenesis. Genesis new, spermato, sperm. Okay? Alright, ayan. And next, we have the seminal fluid. Now, for seminal fluid, is about 60 to 70 percent. Now, what is the purpose of the seminal fluid? Again, it allows the sperms na dira sila mo masuspend. Okay? Alright? And uh, para na fluid to, to swim, to swim in. Tama ba akong preposition? Uh, anyway, alright, so it's produced by the seminal vesicles and it comprises the bulk of your semen. And again, it serves as a transport medium for your sperm. Ayan, as you can see. Ayan, so that's your... Actually, this is semen. No? It's quite familiar naman, di ba? <laughs> okay, parang cetaphil. Okay, alright. Ayan. Okay, and then the fluid contains, again, um, first is fructose. Again, that's the major sugar na ma-find sa imuhang semen because, again, this is the source of energy of your sperm. So, muna siya, guys. Always, always, guys and girls, guys and girls, always make sure na ang inyong source of fructose kay ang fruits, ha? Delete some other source. Pero, pwede rin naman. <laughs> okay. Alright, fructose, metabolized for energy and, again, for propulsion, okay? Or para muswim ay muhang sperm padulong sa imuhang um, egg, okay? Next is flavin, which gives the semen an overall gray appearance. And last is various proteins for coagulation. Because um, once a semen is ejaculated, mung coagulate sa sila. Okay, then after coagulation, mung liquefy. Okay? Alright. Ayan. Okay, next. Uh, before the, we go to the um, next... Um, <laughs> before we go to the next uh, component of uh, semen... Uh, we'll first look into the, uh, the stages of your spermatozoa or spermatozoon development. So, how is a sperm cell uh, made? Or on sa stages sa life, mag life cycle niya. Of course, we'll start sa siya og, uh, spermatogonium. Okay? Spermatogonium. Okay? Alright? Followed by your primary spermatocyte. Okay? Spermatocyte. Alright? Next, the secondary spermatocyte. Then finally, you have the spermatid. Okay? Spermatid. And finally, you have the spermatozoon. Spermatozoon o saka sperm. Okay? Or if daghan, zoa. Alright. So, muna siya iyahang uh, parang life cycle. So, mustard sa siya og spermatogonium. Alright? Siya pinakauna. And then, you have the first primary and secondary spermatocyte. And then, finally, you have the spermatid. And then, finally, uh, lastly, is kato ng mature sperm or your spermatozoon if usa and daghan spermatozoa. Alright? Okay, now please take note on spermatid. Well, you'll encounter that later sa atong discussion. Okay? Alright, munang ako na siyang gi-introduce daan. So, munang siya yung murag life cycle. Okay, or stages of sperm development. Okay? Alright. Or sperm maturation. Okay? Alright, so next component of your semen is the prostatic fluid or prostate fluid. Now, the prostate fluid is only about 20 to 30% of your semen. And the main purpose niya is, it, um, yeah... It, the prostate itself, it contracts, okay, to propel uh, the, the semen or the sperm to the urethra. Um, well, I think ma feel naman siguro na mga boys yan, basta in terms of uh, special cases, <laughs> okay. But yeah, it's, it's that muscle na mo contract para mo propel ang, ang semen into the urethra and of course outside the urethra to the opening, kung sa mga na opening, okay? Alright, ayan. So, um, that's the prostate fluid. Now, your prostate fluid, uh, this is the prostate there, guys. So, um, as you can see, it's, it's, it's really like near the like, rectum. Okay? So, this is a prostatic examination. Ha? Dili ni siya mga some other stuff. <laughs> Bastusan ako, Lord. Okay, wait. Okay. Alright. Ayan. Okay. So, again, this is the prostate. No? Okay? At nasa sa likod sa near the like, rectum. Okay? So, if na yung prostatic examination, so, i-insert sa doctor ang yung finger sa... Um, so rectum and then e examine ang prostate okay example put sa urine di ba katong um, 
for prostatitis specimen, katong uh, express, uh, katong stainy mirrors, mga yun na three glass collection, dinanin niya siya guys, how you massage the prostate. So this is a prostate massage para ma-express ang prostatic secretions. Okay? Alright, ayan. Cursed image. Joke lang. Memories. Ay, joke, joke lang. <laughs> All right. Ayan. Next, uh, this prostatic fluid is actually acidic, okay? Because it contains number one is your acid phosphatase. Now, acid phosphatase ACP. Ayan. It's very specific to the prostate, guys. Okay. So, sa inyong ClinChem two, CC two, sa inyong enzymes. So, if we ask ganin mo, what is the enzyme that is very specific to the prostate? That is acid phosphatase. So that is why acid phosphatase actually ginagamit po niya for uh, forensic analysis. So, example, na eye patient na again, medyo sensitive, gi rape. Okay? Now, ACP, i detect or i check ang vagina sa patient or vaginal fluid, and then i test siya for ACP. Now, if positive ang ACP, if na positive, if na ACP na ma detect, then that could be um, a, a, a grounds for or an evidence to support na na rape yun siya. Okay? Alright, so that's ACP, acid phosphatase. Next, you have citric acid. Okay? Next, you have zinc. And you have proteolytic enzymes for coagulation and liquefaction. So, kanay citric acid and zinc, of course, these are still nutrients for your sperm. Of course, para healthy sila, no, very, uh, you know, bansug char. Okay, all right, ayan. And proteolytic enzymes, because again, pag ejaculate sa semen, first is mo coagulate sila. So, mag kumpul kumpul, and then after a while mo liquefy. Okay, uh, I have not read unsa yang reason, nga no mo coagulate sa shadaan. Maybe because ma expose na tong enzymes na needed for coagulation, alright? And then mag kumpul kumpul sila, and then finally mo liquefy. Alright? Okay, so I'll read about it, put, uh, I'll search about it nga no, and then I'll, I'll inform when I can. Okay, but I think, yeah, if you've noticed sa mga males dyan, no, let, you know, let's be mature here. If ever magani, you do um, self-love, di ba? So you can see, after a, a short while, kay mo coagulate mo hang uh, semen, right? And then after a while, mo liquefy. Okay, alright. Ayan. So, let's be mature. Open-minded lang tayo na yung napita. Okay. Alright. Open-minded ka ba? Yes. Okay. Alright. So, that's for prostatic fluid. And last is the bulbo-urethral fluid. Now, as you can see, it's only just 5%. Same lang sa composition sa spermatozoa. Now, this bulbo-urethral fluid is produced by the bulbo-urethral gland. Huwag nang mag-isip na sa pangalan. Okay. And the fluid is alkaline. Now, why should it be alkaline? Because it's important, di ba? Recall that your prostatic fluid is acidic. So, kailangan po siyang ma-neutralize, okay? Kaya if too much acid ra po, basin mamatay mong sperm, okay? Or dili siya muliho, right? So, kailangan siyang ma-neutralize by the alkal alkaline fluid na bulbo-urethral fluid. And aside from that, this uh, bulbo-urethral fluid, alkaline man siya, it also neutralizes the acidic vaginal environment. Because again, if acidic ka ang environment, alright? And then, example sa vagina, which is really acidic, di ba? Unsa to ang normal flora dito na naproduce sa acidic environment dito, you have, di ba? Lactobacillus acidophilus, di ba? Ayan. Recall, di ba? Lactobacillus acidophilus. One of the normal flora sa vagina, that's why making it as loam char, making it acidic. Eww. Alright, char joke lang. Alright, ayan. And again, ang point na na, the bulbo fluid is the one that neutralizes the acidic environment. Because again, it's important. Kaya if acidic ra, pwedeng dili mo, lihok ang sperm, affected yung motility, or mamatay po siya. Alright? Okay. Ayan. So that's the bulboy urethral gland. Ayan. Med medyo maliit lang siya. Alright? Naa siya dapit dari sa um, uh, likod. Okay? Alright. Ayan. Sa bulboy urethral fluid. Okay. Now, we, we now go to specimen collection. So how do we collect specimen? The, your semen, of course. Okay, so uh, some specimen collection specifications. Again, guys, ha, warning. Uh, I suggest na mo read, mo wear mo earphones ha, while watching this. Kay basin ma makasaban ko sa yung parents. <laughs> okay, alright, so please wear earphones. Okay, alright, ayan. So we'll start first with specimen collection. So number one is how do we collect your um, specimen? First is we have to um, undergo. Uh, the patient has to undergo abstinence. So when you say abstinence, dili good siya mo undergo or dili siya mo engage in any sexual activity or any self-pleasurable activity para dili ma-express or makapagawa siya semen. Okay? And pila ka days? Um, at least at, at least two days pero dili po siya mo more than og seven days. Okay? So two to seven days sa good ato ang abstinence. Okay? Kaya ba boys? Pila ko dili. <laughs> Alright, so two to seven days. So in between rana, pwede four days, pwede three days. As long as na abstinence. Okay? Why is it important na mag-abstinence ta? Because again, we want to make sure na 
what we collect in a specimen is a representative of the ability of your testes, of your reproductive system, to produce semen. Now, if ni undergo mga ka og like example, nag sex ka, ani na wala, wala ka nag abstinence or uh, nag masturbate ba ka or whatever, so dili na siya representative. Kay nakwa naman tong imuhang murag stock, imong stock dito na um, uh, semen, right? So kailangan siyang na abstinence, okay? All right. Per prolonged abstinence, of course, mo increase ang volume and decrease na po ang motility. Because again, uh, it's too it's too much or it's uh, medyo ano na kayo siya, kanang sapuk or taas na kayo ang volume, okay? Kay daghan na kayo na ipon. So therefore, the motility is affected. Kay dili na kaayo in anak um, alive or dili na kayo maayo mo mo, mo swim mo sperm. Okay? All right. Next one is you have number of samples. Uh, it can be 2 to 3 samples and um, 2 to 3 samples. And uh, for fertility testing, usually daw, seven days to three weeks apart in pag collect. So um, after after eight days, you got, okay, first first sample ni mo ni collect ka after seven days. After na put a week ni collect ka for uh, the second sample, and then after a week na put collect ka for the third sample. That's for fertility testing. And usually for fertility testing, if two abnormal samples ang makit and then that's significant. That would indicate that the patient is infertile. Okay, all right, ayan. And next, you have um, sample container. Of course, the sample container should be uh, a, a warm, sterile glass or plastic containers because we want to ensure that your sperm are maintained at body temperature lang good. Para dili siya mo deteriorate, dili po siya ma-affected yung motility, yung morphology, etc. Okay? All right. And usually, if in the labs, atong klase unta, <laughs> you, will be, you will be given um, parang a 15 ml tube yata. Uh, I'm not good at drawing, pero inana siya. Okay? Alright. So, dili siya itong normal na 10 ml. Medyo dako siya opening. Okay? Para naman, of course, medyo dili lisod di collect. Okay? Alright. And I have to emphasize also, guys, in collection of your semen, all of it should be collected yun. From the start na nag-start nag to ejaculate until the end. So, all of the ejaculate should be uh, collected. Okay? Kaya if dili, ma-affected in yung results. Alright? We'll know later sa next slides. Okay? Alright. Ayan. So next, we go now to um, collection method. Of course, now for collection method, the, we have three methods. We have first is, of course, masturbation. That's self-pleasure, self-love. Next is we have coitus interruptus. And last is you have the use of a condom. Condom na non-lubricated or polyurethane. Now, asa diri ang pinaka-preferred is, of course, masturbation. Masturbation is the most preferred uh, method of collection for semen. Okay? All right. Uh, why? Because again, um, it's it's more on the patient can control. The patient um, can collect all of good, all, all of the all of the semen. Kesa na may nag, um, you know, siya nag collect by himself. Okay. Now, coitus interruptus. When you say coitus interruptus, coitus interruptus. Coitus means sex. Okay. Interruptus is interrupt. So you're you're doing sex and then you interrupt. Um, so when you interrupt, if the male starts to um, ejaculate na, all right. Okay, so again, medyo sensitive ha, medyo SPG, pero I'm trying my best to, to explain this ha. Open-minded lang yun. So, coitus interruptus. When you say coitus interruptus, again, coitus means sex, okay? Sex. Interruptus is interrupt. So, you interrupt the sex para mo collect sa semen. Now, when do you collect, or when do you collect, yeah, when do you collect semen? If ang male makafeel na nahapit na siya mo orgasm, for the lack of a better term, or happy na siya mo ejaculate. Okay? Now, this is not, this is not um, preferred. Why? Because single time. <laughs> because, <laughs> because, um, the first, na magwe may tabo na, na I, uh, the first, parang the first part of your ejaculate, pwede hindi siya ma-feel sa male, okay? Sa males. So, may tabo is ma-express ma niya. And the first part magod of your semen contains the most number of your sperm. Okay, or sa pina, uh, the pinakadaghan na numbers ng sperm. So it's not, um, it's not, uh, munang dili siya recommended. And aside from that, nag coitus interruptus ka, you're having, you know, sex, and then so you're, ex you're exposing the semen to um, a vaginal, you know, fluid or a vaginal environment na acidic. So that could mean na pwedeng ma-affected or ma-expose ma ma ang semen to the acidic environment, which could affect the sperm's motility, ilang morphology ba. Okay? Alright, so that's coitus interruptus. Now, sir, what if lahi na buslot ang gi gigamit? That I don't know, alright? Okay. But this coitus interruptus was done in the premise that it is um, vaginal sex. 
Okay? Alright. But again, preferred drug in Japan is masturbation. Okay? Ayan. So again, that's coitus interruptus, no? Okay. Again, vaginal sex ang premise, Ani. Oh my gosh, what's happening sa akong projector? OMG. Anyway, alright. And um, the next one is um, the use of condoms. But again, this is not recommended. Why? Because again, there are some condoms na na spermicide. So when you say spermicide, yung patcho ng sperm. So wala na ipulos yung mohang semen analysis. And aside from that, kanisya na condoms though, wala na siya spermicide. Pero aside from that, magod kay, the possibility magod na dili makolektanan, alright? Because gibutan siya sa condom, so morag na yung manapot sa condom, na ay mabilin sa, you know, sa end. So, again, that's not preferred. So, again, ang pinaka-preferred nato na method good is masturbation or self-pleasure. So, kayo guys, unsa yung pili on? <laughs> unsa yung bias sa tulog? <laughs> Alright, okay. So, again, that's for masturbation. Ah, for, for, muna ni, muna ni. For collection method of your uh, semen. Okay, next. For collection site, um, so the patient can collect it in their room, nagi provide sa lab. I'm not sure sa routine lab if asa, but I think usually sa CR mandagay ni or basa na eye room na i provide. If not, the collection can be done somewhere else, but it should be done. Uh, it should be delivered within the within one hour to the lab. Okay, and the sample can be kept at room temperature for transport ni guys ha. Kung wala magani siya perform sa lab mismo. So another area outside of the lab, basa dapat ma transport siya within one hour. Pero, once madawat na nimo siya sa lab, uh, the specimen should be kept um, at 37 degrees Celsius, awaiting analysis. That is why kami sa una, or if, if mag-collect ng taong mukha ron, usually pag, abot, pag human siya nag-collection, no? so yes, nag-effort ka-collect and all that, amo dyan siyang ginabutang, either sa ilok, alright? Amo siyang, ang tube, amo na siyang ipalugpit sa ilok. Okay, or if gifted ang female, alright, or <laughs> na siya medyo, you know, joga-joga, alright, gifted siya, pwede daw in between sa inyuhang doaka breasts, okay? But, you know, let's all be sensitive naman, no? Not all of um, us are gifted in terms of the day. So, sa ilok na lang, pwede na sa ilok, okay? As long as na ay body temperature. That's again, awaiting analysis, okay? Now, what's my projector, right? Alright, anyway, okay, ayan, so for specimen awaiting analysis, kept at 37 degrees Celsius. So again, kato pwede siya ibutang sa ilok or pwedeng in between daw sa breasts, okay? Basta body temperature, kung mag-await na ka for analysis. But if, for example, sa balay ka nag-collect and then nag-classy mo 7 a.m. in anak, so pwede siya within one hour, madalag yun din mo siya to the, uh, to the lab, okay, at room temperature. Pero usually kami manggod, bahalag sa lab na mo siya gikollect, Pag humad yung collect, amo siya ibutang dahil sa ilok. Alright? Para at least, the sperm will be, ano, will be okay. <laughs> protect the sperm, protect your babies, your juniors. Okay, alright. Ayan, that's for specimen collection and specifications. Next, we go now to um, the consequences if incomplete ang collection. So, let's say again, di ba, I, I, I emphasized it, uh, I, I really emphasized na dapat, tanan dyan sa imong ejaculate ang makollect. So, from the start until to the end, dapat makollect yun. Tanan. Nga no. Okay, so start. We'll start first um, if the first part is wala. Now, recall again, the first part contains the most number good of your uh, sperm. Okay, so if wala na siya, of course, na I decreased sperm count, increased pH, and the specimen will not liquefy. This is because, um, because you know, I think ang increased pH mang good, uh, so mas daghan ang bulbo urethral fluid na na-produce kaysa sa prostatic fluid. Because again, um, Diba, remember that your bulbo urethral fluid kay mas duol siya sa, sa urethra. So, uh, if wala kayo nakuha ang first per portion, ah, okay, morag, tama. Tama ba? Increased pH o dapat alkaline, di ba? Okay. Alright. Ah, okay. Oh, tama, sorry, sorry. Mali, mali pala. So, the first portion, it contains a lot of the sperm and also the prostatic fluid na acidic. Okay? So, therefore, kung wala to siya, May tabo is increased pH, maging alkaline. And of course, specimen will not liquefy because the enzymes that are needed for liquefaction, wala po na appeal. Whereas, if ang last portion na po sa semen, ang wala na collect, decreased ang semen volume because again, it's not all of it, semen volume ha. Increased ang sperm count because um, 
uh, wala man na collect mga ginagmay rag yun. So, increase ang sperm count. So, um, nakuha man tong first portion until before the end. So, increase ang sperm count. Decrease ang pH. Okay? So, acidic. So, wala ka ayoy bulboyurethral fluid na na-appeal. Okay? And the specimen will not clot. Still the same because the enzymes needed for clotting wala na-appeal. Okay? So, please take note ng mga consequences if ang first portion wala and ang, ang last portion wala. Usually, wala kayo siya give in-depth figure o uh, explain sa sa ano siya sa stress exact anong first portion na decrease ang sperm count because again the first portion contains most of the number of most of your sperm okay all right ayan next um, we now go to uh, specimen handling so how do we handle semen do you spit or swallow joke lang grabe na good gargle sir joke lang okay all right so specimen handling how do we handle semen of course uh, your your semen is again of course a body fluid and it's actually a reservoir for a lot of um, sexually transmitted diseases, especially viruses. So, example, HIV or HBV. That is why we always still follow your universal precautions. Always, always, um, you know, uh, you assume, again, uh, or treat all body fluids as potentially infectious. So, always, always treat them as potentially infectious. Okay? All right. Ayan. Okay, so, uh, for the next part, we now go to the bulk of our discussion. Okay? Dili na tayo magbinastos, no? Mark, my God, you need your job. Joke lang. Okay, all right. Ayan, so we now go to semen analysis. So what are the components of semen analysis? First is, of course, we'll talk about its appearance. No, So macroscopic ata, yang physical appearance, parang sa ihi, right? Then you have liquefaction. Uh, next, we go now to volume and viscosity. So yang volume, total volume and viscosity, unsa yang sap, yang sapok, or yeah, viscosity. Next, pH and spec graph. And then next, kanisha kanina part mga calculations na sperm concentration and sperm count. You have sperm motility, of course, sperm morphology, and finally you have sperm vitality or viability. When you say vitality, viability, like um, unsa siya kadugay before siya mamatay, okay? Or like yeah, how long siya maging viable or how long siya naging maging alive, okay? All right, so that's for. Uh, for semen analysis good, alright? And that's what we're going to talk about in the next video, okay? Alright.